let Obi and Atiku go to the Supreme Court, even if it's even if it seems like a waste of money and time, Pastor Itwa Igu Dalo advises. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Pastor Itwa Igu Dalo, the senior pastor of Trinity House Church, has expressed his views on the recent verdict of the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, PEPT. According to Igor Dalo, the judges focused on technicalities rather than the substance of the case. Despite this outcome, he believed that justice will eventually prevail. Igor Dalo insists that Pito will be the Labour Party presidential candidate and Atiku Abubakar, the People Democratic Party P PDP candidate, have every right to appeal the PEPT verdict. He emphasizes the importance of exhausting all available legal options, even if it may appear to be a costly and time-consuming process. Igo Dalu stated, When you go to court, there are rules of the court, and that is one of my challenges with jurisprudence and justice. It is not just about what is right, but also the approach and the technicality. So, the judges have given the judgment based on technicality, and I think that they have largely avoided the substance of a case. It is convenient for them and the laws. It is convenient for them and the law allows them. So they have done it and they have gotten away with it. But it's okay. There are always there is always another day. He further explained, every process must be followed and exhausted according to the laws of a land. They may go on appeal and may find a court that is willing to listen to their case and the substance thereof. And they may not but nobody will say that they did not exercise their rights according to the laws of this country to the fullest. At the very worst, they will waste some money, waste some time, but they will have reached a process and a nexus, and I will encourage them and anybody else seeking justice to seek such to the end. When they get to the Supreme Court, according to the laws of the land, there is no other court to go. At that point, they know that they have exhausted all their options, and posterity will not ask them why they stopped midway and did not follow through to the end. There have been precedents before that cases that were lost at the lower court were overturned at the Supreme Court. So let them exhaust the full process if they can afford it, both in money and time, he concluded. Thank you. Not those coming out to say they are wasting their time, they are wasting their resources. I beg, did they knock on your door and tell them to borrow their money? No, so allow them be. To me, what I see here is persistence to get justice, persistence to get it right. And I think that this type of persistence now we're supposed to be, you know, the emulates. Persistence in the right thing. Persistence in the right thing. You are following due process. They say go to court and the court now you they go. You understand? No matter how they don't drag this matter, oh, these people are violent people. I never hear say these people organize any protest or go do it in the wrong. Do you get me? So those who are coming out to say, eh, eh, they're wasting their money, eh, they're wasting their time, allow these people to waste their money. The money is their money. Time is their time. Allow them. Hmm? All right, let them go to the highest court, even though justice is nine of them. That will change and awaken many things in this country. Somebody is seeing things, my somebody is seeing things from my point of view, from my perspective, and it is very, very, it is very nice to hear. At least it will help to know the kind of judiciary and politicians and INEC. Exactly, this is not just about uh, what's it called these um, INEC. It is no longer about them. It is more about let us see if the judiciary is still the hope of the common man. If a widow now, I, I don't know, I like using the widow. For instance, if a widow is being threatened by her in-laws, they are going to collect everything the husband worked for. And even maybe they even want to hold on to her kids. When she runs to the law, will the law protect her? Or will the law eh, turn it back on her because... The law has been, they don't moist the hands of the law. Now these things will be fine. We're looking for answers. This is way, way beyond this election. It goes, it goes deeper than this election, that's, than this uh, uh, most recently concluded election. Okay, it is wiser to reach 
to the Supreme Court because whatever they say becomes supreme. And even if they repeated the same lies, the lies will be recorded as supreme for the consumption of a nation in the near future. All right. It is not unlikely that this pastor is a lawyer or has a legal background who may indirectly be working in favor of a fat back account for his learned friends on a litigation that will not yield any useful results. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. Me, if then, he, look, the pastor does not say it is a must, but see if they have the money and if they have the time. So me, it is pursuing something, pursuing something to the very end so that if they ask you, you can beat your chest and say you fought well. You fought it to the last drop of your blood. Do you understand? I did it the right way and this is what came out. I don't know if I'm making sense here. Because tomorrow they'll say, ah, you will be said and then beat for election. Then we you for election, you go hide your face. Nobody hear your, nobody see your brake lights. Nobody hear waiting, hear you again. You just go bury yourself somewhere. No, it's not long, no, no longer like that. Which one among the two are you supporting or both of them will win the case at the Supreme Court and become president? Well, thank God said the pastor did not even peace side. You only say, you know, if they have the funds, they should continue. They may win, they might not win. All right. Um, why is it that some people will abuse pastors when they talk politics, but they foolishly keep quiet when Muslim affairs and Imam talk politics? I can't say. I can't say. So you know that even the so-called Nigeria and one Nigeria is a waste of time, because anything that has no element of truth will forever remain a waste. Then, why deceiving ourselves, Pastor? Huh. Thank you, Pastor. The rest is left to conscience and the future is pregnant. This is me. This is it. Allow these people to come outside and give this thing their best shots. You understand? This is the kind of man of God we need in this country. Not fake primates that speak from two sides of their mouth. Pastor, I humbly queue behind your opinion. Moreover, an appeal is not only about winning or losing a case, but about developing the state of a law or jurisprudence. There are some issues the tribunal pronounced upon that will not be settled or clear in law until the highest court, the Supreme Court, makes a pronouncement on such. I think what the pastor said is correct. To me, oh, I actually second and I support what he says. Why? Because truly, truly, it is, like I said before, it has gone beyond the, what's it called? It is no longer uh, business as usual. This is now, let us really see what the Supreme Court will say. Hmm? That um, they judge this case based on technicalities and not what is right or wrong. So make the Supreme Court judge on right or wrong and let us see, you know, how, how this is going to turn out. The vultures in the tribunal are the same vultures the Supreme Court. If the pastor will sponsor the waste of time and resources. Well, this pastor did not tell them that don't know, don't know, don't that they should go, but to me, it's fair. It's, it's, it's only fair that these people, they have the funds and they have the time. They go and get, you know, and get it done. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy.